was somehow tankier 30 minutes ago. He's lost 300 HP. Not that big of a deal, of course, but like... The change in his items. The change in his items. Oh, Mickey. Okay. Oh, the, the Fall Sky. That's very big for Mickey. They use the Stone Graze as well. And the Mortimer's gets raining down. Some hit. Mickey actually has to force them himself to safety. He uses the Mickey B as well to save himself from being nullified. But he's been turned to stone. Mickey, you need to run away. He's not dealing any more damage. They actually even have an Abyssal Blade on the Pango just to stop him. Mickey trying to go back to base to hit the Ice Blast just to retreat. And it does seem like Chicken Fighters will not get Supreme what they're looking trouble. for. In fact, they might even lose Supreme here to the Lina. He does die. They have the Light Strike Array, but Supreme. Should be able to get away here. There we go. The blink immediately. Rolling Thunder yet again from Shime. Another round of Mortimer's Kisses. And this time Taiga's the objective. Taiga is still alive. Taiga's gonna live. Shadow. In fact, the counter initiative of Mickey. He's dealing too much Whoa. damage. He's bursting Charlie down. They're taking down Supreme as well. There's so many rapiers on the floor. Pick him up. Pick him up. Divide him among yourselves. The spoils of war. Liquid actually take a fight. Got I said, Richie, yeah. the only thing that matters is the high ground. They're gonna get Era. Era, yeah. this is not your chance. This is his fourth DI qualifier. It's not gonna matter. Era, goodbye. Liquid. <laughs> oh, we're just gonna wait for them to go and fight us so they can give Liquid the tempo of the game. They want to recover it, and the way they recover it is by going outside. However, if Tiger surprises you, they might still be able to turn us around. They're going for the Knicks first. Charlie is keeping Mickey at bay. Mickey is riding to the high ground yet again. There's too many traps along the way, but the Mickey is keeping him safe. But Mickey, he can't get away. They're too stuck to him. They're holding onto his legs, and Mickey's going to die. Bye back immediately, though. Koikva is now the second Mickey, but Koikva's been turned to stone, and Koikva's gonna shatter immediately. Tiger, not even a chance for him. Liquid buys back with as many people as they can, and Zane is somehow alive. Boxy will die as well. There's rapiers all over the place, but they don't need them. They have the damage yep, without him. Era is the target now for them as Koikva. He's the rest of chicken fighters at bay. They're going for the supports they first. They're the easiest targets, but Era will survive. Oh, he's like, oh, guys, don't don't litter. Oh, okay, <laughs> gotta go double right here. Why not? <laughs> the Timber's not doing him any rapiers. favors right now. Why not? Actually, at this point, at this point, by Max, <laughs> look at this. Hurricane Bite. Yes, yes, Insania. He's realized, there we go, three Triple breakers. Right Insania is going to be the <laughs> truth. Liquid snipe. sees the future. This is why Insania was playing carry during ESL 1. You thought it was just a fluke. It was not. Look, now we're going to see the power of Liquid. Let's see if it happens. It's going to be a nice blast hitting. Charlie in the middle of the fight. They're positioning chicken fighters. Doing well. Got the they don't want to lose the high ground too early. They're forcing it on Drow. And they're going to murder Mickey. No chance for Mickey. That's a dieback. Chicken fighters not going to give Insania a chance to scary. Oh, Insania dealing Whoa, so much damage, but he's alone. He's going to burst it down. He does take down Charlie. But oh, that's not going to be enough. What? And there's so many rapiers in the same spot. Five rapiers country within one another. Liquid just lost three heroes. However, they did take down the Dusa when Chicken Fires has Supreme. It's the fight of the mid laners with Insania. You're helping out. There's two rapiers on Melina. <laughs> It's, it's still holdable. It's still holdable, though. Unfortunately, it, okay, Supreme, yeah, just blinking away from that. What a counter initiation. On a oh, Koikva. Go. He does not have BKB. He's got Satanic, though. Now I'm going to start laying in the damage. Good damage, but not enough here onto Shibe. He gets a plenty of assistance. Supreme now in a bit of a tough spot here. If he goes down, he oh. does not have buyback. Dropping two more They're right doing here. It. Here goes Insania with the damage. He's the carry now. It's not CK. It's the Ancient Apparition. That's the what rapiers. they needed. He's going to recover the rapiers and continue running at him. Era trying to counter initiate. Gets the stun, but Koikva now in trouble as no. Shiba is right on top of him, but they don't have the damage. It's Sadia's actually killing them both. <laughs> he's got the Kangalier, and he's got it's Era Sadia. too. Oh my goodness, Insania is actually legitimately going to carry the game. He's doing it. A raffle <laughs> comes out, <laughs> the and they're going to finish this. It's Insania who wins the game for them. Liquid win in 103. You just come in and kick him, kick him out. Pretty good. Sasuke, come here. Thanking. This is his first stun of the game, most probably. Disruptor, bound, never cape. This is the big fight, this is the one. Lycan, BKB, he gets fouled, he runs away. SF, this Breaker on Souls won't kill anyone. Everyone's still alive. Sanking on the side. Lycan stunned. And if they finish him, Lycan goes down. Has the buyback, of course. And that is the next in line. Does they have the BKB or the out BKB, can they do anything about it? There's the punch, there's the kick. Yeah, one more thing about those is popping TPs, of course. The BKB doesn't care, Sven. Going down, Magna glimpses back, he doesn't have a BKB. Or the buyback, sorry. He gets taken down all in all. Sven goes down after all. The blast will scout all of that, but can they do anything to fight it? Master finds the AA, he 
He has the BKB, he has the gem, he will be able to take them down. Room Master comes in, wants to stop them taking down this road. Shrove is still alive. Here comes the big Requiem of Souls, but really doesn't do too much. SF now needs to be careful, and they will be alive. Oh my god, Panda gets killed as the Primal's gun wears off. Good kick from the Lycan. Lycan is kicked all the way over the cliff. He can't be in the fight anymore. Oh my god, what a kick. That's a field goal right there. Kick him all, all the way up there. Oh my god. Thinking, once again, tries to steal the Aegis. Once again, he will fail to do so. And he won't have a buyback. Oh my god. Is that a oh, 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 oh. Here we go, base race. Inbound. Paga trying to take down that tier 4 and the Ancient. He will pay for it with his life. And the ball back for this. He needs to be careful. He hurt Bruling. He needs to get away. Followed by Tuscar. Can he find them? Here comes Panda. Good stun. Glimpse back and Panda will die most likely. I mean, double damage on Sven. Here comes the stun. Where has the BKB? Will it pop it? Yes, he will. Tries to find someone. There goes that Aeon this pop. Sven needs to run away. He does have the buyback, but he doesn't really want to die in this position. But the Pagna will find him with the level 4 Dagon. Sven goes down as well as this Beastmaster, and all of a sudden Sank is turning it, turning it around. And they find the Shadow Fiend. He pops the BKB with the out. Nothing to stop him from doing so, and he is able on a back foot in your gambit. A couple of good fights going in the way of uh, Sank, and now you're fighting 5v4. They know it, he bought back just a couple of minutes ago. They go, they go in, Nether more dropped. They are trying to get this Shadow Fiend low. The Ice Blast will hit the top of the Tusk, and here we go. Can they take down this Ancient before? Master is back alive. Only the Earth Panda survives. Oh, here's the Spawn Panda all the way back here. Tusk goes down. So he's able to. He's trying to take that one down. It's a big fight here. A big break of souls. Does it do anything? Not much. Pagna getting gone on by the Tusk as well as the Sven. Sven getting kited. Ancient is getting low. Buyback back by the Pagna. He gets taken down. Big epicenter on top of the Tusk but not able to take him down. Sven went down, and he doesn't have a buyback either. And Sank winning game one against Team Gambit Esports. And what a game. Vichy, they're knocking on the door now. They've got vision yeah. up on their own. But they won't be ready for this puck ultimate. The Daedalus is done. So if they get caught out from this, Paparazzi is the first one forward, it's only the coins, Mind Control gets the Hoof Stomp, they want that extra time to attack, even with the Phantoms in race, they slow him down, they just want to break him, but then Paparazzi, he'll burn off the Satanic, Mind Control, Stampede away, these BKBs have been burned, so even if Paparazzi does have the Aegis, he's got to be careful, they can kill him twice over. But the Spark Race keep doing their work, they've run out of the creep wave, the mid lane's not there either. There's only so long they can do this. Fortifications developed from Liquid, they'll burn it. Now. They need to clean off the second wave that's coming in right now. Miracle sends the coin in, Paparazzi's still low on life, but Satanic, 8 seconds and it's back up again. But there goes your creep wave. How many coins must die for the service of Team Liquid? Paparazzi runs forward, he's getting hit by the Fire Spirits. Doesn't really slow down his attack that much. They still want to be through up with the tower. Yeah, oh, he, he got the initiation. He got the real one. The Lakers came way too late. A four star back. They have to get him into Fountain. Miracle. He has to buy back. No other choice. VG Gaming are in their home and oh. must be repelled. D Y says both of his columns over towards Miracle. In fact, all three of them are trying to keep him zoned down. But Kuro, so he gets the soul bind together. Egg. This will break the Aegis of the Immortal. Where they is the Nova? It, it actually got two. off with a stun down. Doom can't go anywhere. Ari is trapped as well. Mind control keeping the chain control there. Miracle actually survives, even with the three golems there, they don't care. Mass buyback coming no, in from BG dead. Gaming, That's they're all buying back. They want to keep the pressure going. There's no miracle to fight this one out. He's just got the clone only. Mind control on a B-stick of life. BG Gaming, they want to force the issue, but it seems so damn bloody hard. Miracle has no extra kill. Even in death, he fights it out. Ori wants to get back out again. We have the he ultimate reconnect. He'll have to buy back. He didn't join himself forward on this one. Mind control needs the attack, needs the opportunity. DY oh, has an ultra kill with the young stop. This is like the Burning Crusade! Mind Control, where is your attack? Where is your stun? The Yorsa sends him back up again. Mind Control is now the one being attacked back at the base. But VG Gaming, they committed every single buyback they've got. And there's no one else to come back. It's literally Warlock versus the world. 
and he may go down. Here comes Koro, but he doesn't see him. He actually hits the sun though, inside the trees. The Glimmer Cape will wear off in a second. GH, he's got to check the trees. He's got to look for DY. Mid lane's being pressured in the meantime as well. They're attacking the tier three we towers. The base. Now, DY trapped down. There There's are no, no one there from VG Gaming. They are all gonna be dead if DY will finally bloody die. We have going for the throne. He's TPing back. We have what's Puck got? He picked up a desolator. He's gone for the dream call. He just what? wants to hit DY inside the fountain. He gets the kill. They're all down for the count. Liquid no is way. gonna try and end this one. Buy back anything you've got. Get to the front lines. The team for towers. It's a rock sale. They all must go. It was one attack, Toby. The Lena attack was mid-air. It would have killed Phoenix and Puck with no buyback. Instead, they're still alive and they win the game! Team Liquid fight back and give us a decider! The last... You wouldn't have it? 7.2k gold. Oh, it's your Pajas one. Well, <laughs> see you later, Range Rex. Alright. You don't have Glyph anymore. Scam gets hexed out. Pulled back, the laser beam's doing a decent amount of work here, as we said. Skem can melt these buildings, and he does melt that one. So he can't get away. Oh, that's savage. a big Yules. And as you said, 23 Savage does have a TP to get himself back into this fight. So Skem, gonna try and get himself away. They have used the Exorcism here onto Moon. He's walking forward, BKB comes in, but no, Skem comes back in. They're gonna delete Ice Ice Ice. He has Bayat, comes back in. Jabs on the backside as well, dies very early on here. Moon trying to use that move speed coming out from the Exorcism. To get himself away, double buyout to you from Fnatic. 23 Savage again, just trying to fight up onto Yopage, but 23 Savage is losing that fight, DJ. it seems like. DJ blinks away there from Playhard, who's looking again to try and get something else done. The Minotaur Horn for him. Do they have a way of his TP? They do, but Skem, he's made his way back in. Divine Rapier on this Ursa as well. Remember, Moon, he has to get away from this egg. Can he get far enough? It's about to pop. Yes, he gets himself far enough away there. They do lose an entire land of rack. 23 Savage, though. Losing his life for this, he does have uh, his reincarnate off cooldown. They're going to join him. They are starting to connect back up here with 23 Savage, who's the man with the Agnes. He does not have a rapier. He does not have that much damage here. The egg Second has to be reused over. as well. They're coming in with the laser beam on top, and it looks like Fnatic is starting to lose these fights. They've lost the A. 105 seconds on the backside for him. Korea Look does die. The these fights are going everywhere. And they are starting to lose everything. DJ comes in with a big echo slam, but he gets two shots. That could have been it there. They are starting Savage. to walk down mid. 23 Savage says, All right, if you can stop Neymar from getting inside their base, I can destroy their base. No. They're starting to get the TP away here. 23 Savage, he's going to focus the building. They don't have... They do have a glimpse. 23 Savage, he's getting chunked down. Moon, finding with the ring kind. The rest of Neon can't get back inside of the base. 23 Savage, he wants to start getting onto the agent. It's about half HP now. Do they have enough? Fnatic, they want to get it done. Finally, with the ring kind at the edge. Fnatic, can they get this done? The agent, it's onto our HP. Fnatic, <laughs> they win it. 2-0 here up against Neon, 23 Savage said, I don't want to fight you, Skim. They're going to go back and just try and finish up Roche. Looks like they're going to be able to do so. Ace picking up the Aegis as the Winter's Curse is committed just to keep Collapse locked down. Oh, actually, no, it's a, it's a stolen Winter's Curse again. So, Tofu nearly dies. So much damage now, as it really, it's been Razzus holding down the Tiny and Yotoro. Looks like he'll pay for this one now, tossed up and down and up and again as Tofu, or Ace rather, into the trees gets chunked, though. Now he might just lose the first life thanks to the Chaotic Offering. Down he goes, another stamp here in this engagement. Soulstormer absolutely falling low. BKB, he's going to get the cold the embrace. Do they team. have... Yeah, Creeps in the base, hitting the tier 4 towers already as Ace makes the jump back onto Yotoro. Yotoro does have the buyback, though. He's going to be ready to use that almost immediately. Out it comes. Ace gets the kill onto him, but they've got to go back. One tier 4 tower's already gone. Ace having lost the first life already here now as Yotoro just right in his face. Toronto Tokyo blowing up Gilger in the meantime, but Ace is going to lose the Aegis. Base under attack. Holy yeah, moly, what a fight. Your five rather to hold it and go back in. They really want to get this buyback off from Ace. Put Hellbear Smashers on edge. We have a Fortify at the ready. There's Gilger, of course, with Aeondis as they refresh actually on Rasmus just to make sure they get off the ultimate. They have vision now on Tofu thanks to the Seer Stone. It's going to be that cold. Starcraft scam, but Yotaro in trouble. Another Winter's Curse stolen though yet again. It's on to Ace mid cast range of the Boundless Strike. Falling very low thanks they to the team, the but they're just going to try and finish up for the throne. Throne means everything here. Yotaro in trouble though. Does not have buyback. Still trying to go through it now with the Apex. Where's out comes the Fortify of Hellbear Smashers. Yotaro is down thanks to the Glyph. Wukong's command is going to get the kill on to Maposhka as well, but it's still it's Toronto Tokyo trying to get Toronto through Tokyo's it. Throne it. is down. They're gonna do it. 62 minutes. Two dead heroes on their team.